one. This one is called I Kneel Crying Face. I wonder what it's about. There is a very big anime right now. A lot of people are hyping this up big mm -hmm. time, okay? It's the Russian propaganda anime, okay? It's called Elia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russia. Russian propaganda. You know what? All of you are too busy. All of you are too busy being too damn bad for these waifus to realize that, holy shit, this is Putin's game. Bro, their PR, their, or the overall image of Russia is pretty bad right now. With this single anime, they will redeem all of that and more. Okay, so a lot of people have been thirsting after the main character because of a, a certain scene. But there's also Yuki. a scene that's gone viral on Twitter. Mm. Where the little sister of the main protagonist jumped on her brother. Yes. Jumped on her. I mean... I see this shit. I mean, date alive. It's Kashido episode one. As soon as the intro is over about the space koi, Kotori is literally doing a kick on his dick. <laughs> like this ain't, you know, this 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 isn't too uh, uncommon to me. <laughs> or jumped on him. My apologies. And said, "Good morning, my brother." Yes. And basically said, "This is how little sisters wake up their brothers." Is this true? I don't have a little sister, so I, I can't say that. And I, I, I don't think this is the natural behavior in Western audiences either in North America. But in Japan, maybe it's true. Is that, are any of you Japanese? None of you are Japanese, man. And I doubt it's in Japan either. I just think that this is just a degenerate, idealized fantasy that some Japanese siscons have with, oh, you know, a big bro should be waking up with a little sis, you know. Like this. <laughs> I think it's just a fantasy, man. Now, this scene went viral for many reasons, okay? This is, this is shocking to the current Twitter population, but in the, the realm of anime, this sort of theme is not new. It's not mm. surprising. And if these people watch Oriemo, their heads would explode, right? That's an actual incest anime, right? Oremo, I think I heard I've heard about this series. Just like how I've heard about Boku no Pico. There's there's some series where it just gets so viral that people kind of already know what the anime is without even having to watch it, right? I think it is the incest anime, right? Now, instead of being shamed by crybabies on Twitter, the creators of this anime decided oh. to release <laughs> a free Pizza. You you can guys you can just overlay yourself. Yeah, you can overlay you can feel like you are the big bro in this situation right now, man. Damn, the official Roche Today Twitter account actually did this? That's crazy. And you know what? It's actually really smart marketing. Cause they don't give a fuck about the outrage. People complaining about this shit, it doesn't matter, right? None of that shit fucking matters. In fact, all that does is better marketing and campaigning and advertisement for Roche Today. But if the Twitter account did this shit like, yeah, it's pretty smart. It's just going to make the anime get even bigger and for more people to hear about it. Just off of this single, you know, tweet, more people probably found the show, man, compared to other people crying about it and saying, No, don't watch Roshi Dere, it's so immoral. Release a free PNG animation. Oh my god. Of this character waking up her brother. <laughs> if this is not based... Yeah, it's if based. this is not based, I don't know what based is, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute peak. I think that it's funny that like a corporate Twitter account would tweet something like this, right? Clearly, who's managing the social media account is very aware of social media and current trends. It's very in tune with the culture, you know, of the people that watches this anime. So, you know, that's a pretty dub move from like a Twitter account from Japan. I thought that... You know, they'd be too out of touch and too legacy because you know how like corporations are in Japan, right? It's very outdated and follows old rules, but for them to do shit like that, that's pretty cool. Right now, you support this series. <laughs> you support them, right? God. I am, okay? Every fucking week, I'm farming a Roche Daddy video. I get the views. Those people go watch my Roche Daddy. I am doing my job, yes. I am serving the motherland, the propaganda, yes. Damn now. They didn't say, oh no, Twitter's mad at us, let's back down. No, they said, 
let's double down yes. and let's give the people the tools to use this scene for their own posts. Absolutely unbelievable peak cinema. And I kneel. I kneel. Yeah, I know you're fucking kneeling. And you know what? You know how the other rev videos are talking about how D&D, even though it was served for a primarily like a white male audience, and that's the brand they grew up with, a lot of vocal minorities started to speak out and a bunch of guilty white people started to back down on what their brand is known for and start to cater towards the small minority groups. And suddenly you have this corporation, this brand that is failing because they folded to the whims of those small group of people crying on social media. This is the way you're supposed to handle it. Rather than folding to the whims of them, you should just be like, fuck you. We're going to double down on the degeneracy that you guys are saying this is bad. And it works amazingly. At the end of the day, and it's not just like corporations or just like, you know, it's anime Twitter accounts, just like individual brands or you or yourself, never back down to your beliefs. Always double down and say, fuck you. As soon as people say, you yap too much, you pause too much in the anime reactions, you know what I do? I immediately double down and make sure I pause even more. Please, guys, go give Rev a like on this video. I didn't even know he had a second channel where it's just almost like a clip channel, but this is pretty fun.